Hello, my name is Ramona Denby Brinson. I'm a senior resident scholar with the Lindsay Institute at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Thank you so much for accessing this presentation. This presentation has been put together to provide you with additional information about the Community Capacity Building Awards that the Lindsay Institute will be issuing in early October. The Call for Collaborations document, which contains a full explanation of all of the sections that are required for the proposal, is available at the Lindsay Institute website. The purpose, again, of this PowerPoint presentation is just to expand upon the points and the information that's already contained in the Call for Collaborations document. This presentation is structured in four different parts. Um, please feel free to access the information that is most pertinent to your needs as you develop your proposal. Starting with part one, I want to provide you with a bit more information about the Lindsay Institute, our background, our mission, and share with you um, information about the vision behind the Call for Collaboration Awards. The Lindsay Institute at UNLV conducts research that focuses primarily on issues related to health, education, and social services. We have a fourth sector that we refer to as information technology that really cuts across these other three sectors, health, education, and social services. The information technology sector is designed to provide information around data management, for nonprofits and to enhance our ability to support those providers in the areas of health, education, and social services. The Lindsay Institute highlights issues that have particular relevance for public policy and quality of life issues. We have initiatives in areas that concern the full lifespan. We focus on issues that relate to children, adults, seniors and families. There are four primary goals that are of focus at the Lindsay Institute. Our first goal is to conduct and support research that seeks to improve the overall conditions as it relates to health, education, and social services, primarily in Southern Nevada. Our second goal is to use data and research to inform public policy. Third, our goal is to build and enhance the capacity of local providers, nonprofit organizations and agencies so that they can better support the clients that they represent and serve. And finally, our goal is to secure external financial resources for the express purpose of building the capacity of our local providers and nonprofits to serve the needs of some of the most vulnerable residents in Southern Nevada. Just a, a little bit of information about our advisory board and their role has been critical in the call for collaborations process. In fact, it is the Social Service Collaborative Advisory Board that really set out the vision for these community capacity building planning awards. Our board is comprised of 11 individuals. Their names and um, contact information, areas of affiliation is listed on the main page of the Lindsay Institute website. You can find that information once you go into the main page and then click on the social service sector. The advisory board provided the vision for the Community Capacity Building Awards and they began their work about eight months ago. And the work began with an intense period of analysis of existing data and needs assessments and reports relating to social service conditions in Southern Nevada. After reviewing that material, the advisory board engaged in a process where they rank ordered and prioritized the most pressing social service issues. That's actually how we came to identify mental health and education as our starting point for these community capacity building awards. And finally, the advisory board 
spent a great deal of time in a strategic planning process where they actually laid out the structure for the call for collaborations and designed the mechanisms that will be in place to support these planning awards over the next two-year period. This ends part one of the presentation. Please feel free to continue on in part two where we will discuss the purpose and the components of the grant proposal. Thank you.